Hey y'all, Jackamon here, and welcome to what is most likely going to be the finale for Fatal Frame, made in a black water. Last time, Ren actually did something halfway decent. He managed to protect the house from the freaking ghost swarm that rolled in, and ho oh, ho ho boy. Ooh, there were so many ghosts. That was, that was a gauntlet, and it was kind of a blast, uh, uh, let's be honest. Oh, but today, Today we begin the last drop. Yuri, Ren, and Miyu go to meet their fates. Caught up in the madness of Matakami, Yuri, Miyu, and Ren all make their way there, each for their own reasons. A heavy fog descends as if to snuff out all hope of escape. That sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. Bride from Blackwater. Oh dear. The glow of the dark sun fades away and the sleeping girls regain consciousness. The mountain calls out to our three protagonists. Their individual mysteries await resolution. Huh. I suspect today will be a rather long episode or maybe I'll have to cut up into two episodes. We'll see. Dear, the ghoulies are coming. The ghoulies are coming. Dear, there's nothing here for you. It's like, oh, fine. Oops. Don't drop my controller. Ah! Seriously. I swear the ghosts do that because they get off on it. I'm not sick anymore. 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 Oh, wow. I can see things that no one else can. Lucky us! Ever since my family died. Oh. Images of death that only I could see. I could feel them surrounding me. The heck? How did her family die all off like that, huh? And since then, death has been by my side. Is it just That's me? That's how I knew where I needed to go. There is this running really badly in this section. Like, the frame rate's really just choppy all of a sudden. I've been standing at this precipice. Hmm. Must be a design Thinking choice. About whether I should take that final step. Because the subtitles are blinking in and out, like, at a proper frame rate, but the actual cutscene is seems to be, like, grainy and stilted. Is this the water shrine? It opens. Oh. Hello, Osei. At least I imagine you're Osei. And there goes the black goo everywhere. Wow. You know, I have expected it to start us on the mountain. Oh. So the black sun couldn't get us, so the fog's coming to get us, huh? The door's open. The shrine on the water. It's calling for me. It's waiting for me. I, I must go. Lucky me. Uh, are you gonna hold up? There's something in this room. Take. Yuri's Notebook 4. Oh, uh, that I should record my thought streams, things I could see and hear, and write them down to read later after I'd calmed down. In the end, he still didn't believe me. I dreamt of a shrine maiden, of becoming a shrine maiden. She lifted her blindfold and glanced at a dying man, then covered her eyes and wept. I didn't cry. I didn't even cry when Hisoka stopped me from jumping. Hisoka cried, though. I wonder when I last cried. As a child, I used to cry at the sunset. 
Now when I see the sunset, I just stare, transfixed. It feels like I'm melting away, being called away to the other side. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Hmm. Are the others here? Or is it just lucky me all alone in the house? Do I have the camera still? I do. Okay, good. Uh, well, if that's the case... I will boost up the ability to get spirit points so I can use those fancy lenses a little more. Oh, hold on. I should also be on the 7. For the inevitable barrage of ghosties I gotta take pictures of. Right? Hello. It's a book about an old legend. It looks like it was written by the folklorist Kenji Watari. They say on Mount Akami, the Shadow Spring is here, but it is on the other side. It's a curious saying. It must mean that the spring is both of this world and yet not of this world. The black water flows from the Shadow Spring. Within it lies the underworld itself. For centuries, the Shrine Maidens have protected the Shadow Spring, believing it to be a bridge between worlds. Tales abound of such bridges. Are there people all over the country protecting these bridges as Mount Akami does, by drowning Shrine Maidens? Perhaps Osei Kurosawa, the last immortal flower, was one such sacrifice. Hmm. And then the frickin' radio is still tuned into the ghosts, apparently. Back up the mountain. Am I gonna have to go all the way up the mountain myself? Is that the gag here? The Shadow Spring is here. But it is on the other side. <sighs> At dark, because that's the only time of day this mountain knows how to give us, apparently. Oh my fuck. We are literally gonna have to go all the way up the mountain, aren't we? Uh, how the fuck do we get up there? I mean, we go... We gotta get to the Shrine of the Ephemeral, that's the play here, right? House of Joining, no. Twilight Peak, no. Ephemeral Station. There we are. Shrine of the Ephemeral. Oh, uh, that's the Womb Cavern. The Womb Cavern leads to the Mountain Path. Okay. So we just take this route up. From the looks of it. Hi. The Bride Reckoning. You know, or I could stop worrying and planning so much and just follow the ghosts. That works too. Also, it's pouring rain out, so of course I'm going to be soaking wet this entire time. I guarantee something's going to come out of me at the pool here. That area is too big and too important not to hit me with a jump scare of some kind. Uh, once I get there, that is. There's no point. I'm already soaking wet to the bone. Oh. Shrine Maiden doing her duty, watching people kill themselves. <sighs> I cannot get out of this. Sure, here, have an extra shot. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck! I'm surrounded. There we go. I'll take a double. You don't have that much health, madame. Hi. Let's shoot back up. Give me a chance to. Ah! ah, there's the shot. I hear you. I hear you. Please bug off. I'm 
We good now? Where'd our jumper go? Okay, she's still back there. You ain't got much. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ah, oh, she landed on me anyway. I would like a heal now. I might have actually taken out the jumper. Yep. All right, high five for the jumper. To get her little cutscene. Like I didn't already see a rendition of it five seconds ago. Ooh, lady, you're supposed to land in the water when you do that. Oh, that looks painful. Mm-hmm. Ah, stop staring into my soul, lady. Speaking of. You're still well over half. You owe me some HP, madame, and I plan on cashing in. There you are. Come on. All right, tag you with that. How'd you get off to? Cheap shot. <sighs> you are not giving me good shots here. Fine, I'll just take the crappy one. Hook. Back on the seven, and let's get out of here. I didn't even make it to the frickin' pool yet, and I'm getting swung on. Oh, speaking of. They chased me past that herb med. I gotta go back and get that. Chased me way past the herb med. Oh! I was watching. I'm sitting there like, this is the, if this is gonna be the last episode, like every other item is gonna be a hand. Especially when I'm soaked to the bone like I am. Hey look, another item. Purifying flame that I can't do anything with because it's pouring rain out. Thank you, game. I, I really needed that. I really did. And I'm sure it'll be useful later. Man, am I going backwards? Son of a bitch, I'm going backwards. Okay, follow the ghost. Okay. There's the path. There's the pool. There's the... Hi. Huh, weird. Oh, there's my targets! I did not just blow her away in one shot. I did? That was weird, I didn't expect this. You got plenty of health, ma'am.
Sorry. The crazy guy took your sight. I'm sorry about that. That man dropped this old text. They're all dead. I'm alone at last. I cannot die a proper death, but that doesn't matter. That one thing is mine. It's mine alone. I crushed them all. I took back what they saw, what they stole from me. Now there is no one left to see what I am, what I've done. I can die alone. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Ha! Fuck me! You're a new one. I don't think I've ever seen you before. I've seen her at some point because she gave me no cutscene. <sighs> Are we good now? I mean, I knew I was going to have trouble at the shrine. Right, up she went. Off this way. And through the hole in the fence. I suppose I can get lucky and you've actually fixed the, uh, the bridge. Oh. Right in the woods. Also, wrong film for that. Uh, I'm pinned again. Game, I wish you'd stop doing this. Thank you. No, I can't get lucky enough for them to have fixed the bridge. Ugh, fine. Go around. And this probably reminds me back of the early game where they were having me go through this unfathomable forest multiple times. Now the question is, am I going to get assaulted in here multiple times? Probably. It seems to be a running trend that this forest is just a haven for ghosts. It's also a haven for stuff. And do not get me wrong, I love -a me some stuff. Oh, nice try, sir. Nice try. <sighs> A valiant attempt, young sir. Okay, so yeah, this is the right way to go. I don't want to spend too long, like, exploring for stuff. Ooh, well, I saw a lot of poppin' back there in the way background. That's not good. Water Design Journal 5. That woman, the Shrine Maiden, she's calling to me. At first, the glance is done with a touch or an embrace. By the end, thoughts can be taken unto oneself with just a look. All people have secrets. Being glanced allows them to return to the water in peace, without secrets or suffering. I can see you as well. You are fixated with death. You are afraid of being alone. I shall embrace you. Come to me. Oh shit. Is she literally writing to Yuri directly now? Hold on, I wanna get around this tree. This is stuff over there. Ah, I couldn't see that one until the last second. 
That camera angle was mean, game. Look at this, there's shit in the way. That was jerkish. Uh, hold on. Got a little turned around here. Okay. That's the way we came. I know this side of the woods always has a lot of items. See? See what I mean? I knew there was gonna be a lot of ghost hands today. They are all freaking wound up. They know the game's coming to an end and they don't want to leave. They don't want to be banished to the netherworld or wherever the heck they're gonna end up. Alright, then there should be the one along the shore over here. Which I think... Uh, yeah, there you are. Hold on. I thought for just a second I saw a ghost hand. I don't know, I think it's just the camera angle messing with me. <sighs> Alright. That should be sufficient to get out of here. I can get around all these freaking trees. Ah, that's mentioning Yuki's abysmal turning radius. Uh, it's called turn in place, madame. Figure it out. Oh. Hi. You again? I haven't seen you in a while, sir. Take that swing. I missed him hands down. Ah, and the fragments went back into him, of course they did. Let's get off to. There's a wee bit of the health back. There you are. He's taking damage when I do that, at least. Take that shot, though. Oh, buddy, you want to take another shot at me? Miss that one though. There you are. Hey. Oh, you're basically almost done, sir. Good ranks. That's sad. Yep. Now we can get the high five off of this guy that I was denied earlier in the game! I will glance into your soul. Show me. Show me your mind. Your sins. Your secrets. That's where he started going on a stabbing spree here. 
himself on fire and slit his throat after killing all the shrine maidens. Oh my dude. Talk about a hell of a way to go. And they're still looking at him even in death. Dude, what the actual F? Oh, that was... that was freaking brutal, game. That was freaking brutal. Uh, oh, and bonus, I get to go into the freaking dollhouse again, although I don't think I'll need to be in here long. With any luck. Uh, I can avoid the majority of the dollhouse and just get straight to the womb cavern. Right, game? You're not gonna make me take a major detour here? I finally get a chance to dry off a little. Alright, no major detour in here that I have to deal with. Just straight to the womb cavern. No, just straight to the womb cavern. I have to hold this. Good, the door's open. <sighs> Slow ass water. What the hell? Flickering light. Oh. Hi, guys. Shit, that hurt. That got a huge chunk out of him. He's pretty high. He's pretty low. Right, pour it on. Pour it on. Oh, I think he's done. I think this one's done. Hold on. Oh, no hugs. Hugs for you, at least. High five! Whoa. Whoa, the textures were not happy there. There we go. Back on the 7, thank you, not the 90. Give me my sacred water. Watching for the ghoulie hands. Still never opened this door. Oh. Oh, this just goes straight to the Shrine of the Ephemeral. Okay, never mind, we did open this door. I mean, thanks for the nice shortcut here. Saves me a lot of headaches. Alright, is this the right way? It is. Oh, this is the main path. Okay, oh god! Yeah, I know, I swapped film when I shouldn't have. God, there are three of you assholes. Suppose you'll just let me run past you all, will ya? doing? What's going on over here? Thank you. 
Oh, they're lighting each other's torches back up. That's what it is. They fight as a team. The fuck? That was weird. But that's what it is. They fight as a team. If you don't take them all out, they'll start, like, relighting each other. Hello. Oh, boy. Oh, say he's getting thirsty. Number six. She's taking the boat to the shrine on the water. Whenever a pillar crumbles, whenever a shrine maiden falls, the rest of us bound by water must take on those emotions. I have glanced so many deaths. The pain is overflowing. The final thoughts of the dead whirl like a maelstrom. I cannot handle any more. My heart has reached its limit. And when that happened, shit went downhill? That was a weird transition. A device which paints pictures that look perfectly real. Oh, that must I be also. Awesome. It paints are so lifelike. You can even see what is in a person's heart. Isn't it? Or is that Watari? No, that this is Doctor Also. God, he does look like Ren. Ooh, she didn't like that. Over here. Hmm? <laughs> Is that like baby Ose and baby Aso? Oh. Ceremony is tomorrow. I wish we could stay here, hidden away from Dumbass, you fell asleep at the frickin' surveillance system again. Let me guess, Rui's gone. <sighs> I must have passed out. This mist isn't a good sign. Is Rui okay? You're, you're going, aren't you? Hmm? That, that thing you're looking for. It's in your study. At, at the back. Nani? The study? Hmm. The thing we're looking for. Ren, we... You're you're leaving, aren't you? I guess so. Not giving me any sort of option here. Oh dear. Oh, this is a bad idea, Ren. I can't stop thinking about what Rui said. What I'm looking for is in my study? What does that mean? Hm. Handy teleport! 
The camera obscura was in the box when I found it. Or was in this box when I found it. This must mean it belonged to Dr. Osso. It looks like there's something else inside. There it is! The bundle of white hair! <laughs> so that was baby Osso we saw. That girl in my dreams. The one I met in the Shrine of Dolls. This ribbon looks like hers. There was a notebook underneath the bundle of hair. Was this the original owner of the box? Did Dr. Osso write this? How long has it been since I found it? That ceremony. Was it real? If not, then what is this hair? My memories are hazy. I was caught up in the passion of the ceremony. I brought down the blade, then darkness. I made a promise to find that girl and bring her this token. I feel like she's still waiting, even though it's been longer than I care to think about. Even at my age. No, because of my age. That innocent promise we made- oh, sorry. Weighs heavy on me. A forgotten promise, one that cannot be unmade. Where can I possibly take this token that the promise might be fulfilled? If this was left behind by Dr. Osso, then the dream of the ritual was a memory of his? That girl. She's waiting for the person she gave this lock of hair to. To Dr. Osso. What did he see on Mount Akami? And how is it related to the current events? This photograph in the lock of hair might lead to the answers I seek. Looks like there's something else in here, too, for me to grab. Hold up. Rui's Journal, number seven. Something's written in it. Mr. Hojo won't choose me. I can't do anything about that. But I'm fine. I'm fine with it. The more I say that, the more I want to cry. The tears wash me clean. Clean of my clingy possessiveness. My jealousy. My desire to give in to him. He doesn't have to choose me. I just want to be at his side for as long as he'll let me. He'll grow so used to me there, I'll become invisible to him. Like water, I will vanish. I'll become transparent, colorless. Dude, that fucking sucks. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Red Man, we, uh, we, we gotta talk about this. We gotta talk about this. Oh, lovely. We're back here again. Uh, is there a way I can just not deal with this gag? I'd much rather, you know, be with Ren than the ghost girl. Is this Dr. Osso? The only person who left Matakami alive. But what was he doing here? What did he take pictures of? If I try photographing what he's looking at, I may just find some clues. I'd rather photograph him, but sure. Hmm. Hello. The path leading up the mountain. This place used to be called Maiden Grove. This is where pilgrims chose the Shrine Maiden to accompany them. A Shrine Maiden who would oversee their demise. Wow. Dude, I cannot even hear what he's saying. I almost did walk past something. These look like Dr. Osso's notes. Are they from when he visited the mountain? The Shrine Maiden's Grove. I received a special invitation to visit this mountain, where only people who return to the water are allowed to go. The mountain whence none return alive. This mountain has a unique custom. They believe water to be holy. The people here yearn for a proper death. People come here chanting about wanting to be the water. They're so sincere, I think I'm starting to believe them. So many people with the same belief. If this is carried on through the generations, perhaps their prayers will be answered. Uh, you can think that, my friends. You can keep thinking that. Great. So I'm just gonna follow the same path and probably just end up at the shrine as well, huh? Interesting. Looks like Casper's already reloaded the items along the path. And he's leaving them as booby traps, as usual. <sighs> Rat. Thank you. No big fight here this time, though, huh? Hello. This is the Pool of Purification. Pilgrims would undergo a rite of purification here. Soaking in these waters would make them one with the mountain and bring them closer to the world of the dead. The Shrine Maidens always kept their raven black hair soaked. They were known as Maidens of Black Water.
Dude, I am so glad there are subtitles there because I cannot hear a word he is saying. So even if I crank it up, I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it either. There's an embers. This time I will not get turned around quite so easily. There's an item up here. Hold up. Notes. Uh, game, you want to pick up the notes? Thank you. In the past, Dr. Osso visited the mountain and took photographs. The air is so clean here. Calm, pure water flows. And the mist is full of vital energy. Everything here has an aura. In the woods, ones can feel not only the animals and trees. The water itself has an energy. I understand now. The water is alive. We are born from water, and to water we return. The water connects us all. Perhaps the Shrine Maidens, with their well-honed senses, perceive this aura and lead the people to a proper death. Here in this place, I am not alone. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting that they led him up the mountain and then kind of let him just go back down afterwards, as opposed to everyone else. But I suppose everyone else came here to die, and he came here to learn. Make sure I'm still going the right way, yep. I suspect it is, is what I think it is. It is literally, go to Shrine of Dolls. Uh-oh. Oh, it's the hangar! Man. It's funny, I actually feel more compelled to explore as Ren than I do as Yuri, just because I know, like, Ren needs the help. a couple pieces off of her. You're low. Come on. Come on. You can do it, lady. Back and forth. There we go. This big ass tree she's hiding in right now. That did it. High five, high five! Boop, high fived. Nope, just flowers. Thought it was an item for half a second. There's that pop in again. It's a PS5 game, you really think that we'd have handled that a little better. Alright. Just like Yuri, I've raided the woods. Grab a fit and grab a picture. It's the little girl. The girl with white hair. She gave a token to Dr. Osso when he was a boy and later came to this mountain. Then she waited for him to come back to her, guided by the token. I can't hear a word of that. All I say is thank goodness for subtitles. What did Dr. Osso see here on the mountain? This mountain reminds me of the time I spent on Mount Kagori in my youth. Back then I believed without a doubt in an invisible world. When did I stop? And why? This mountain air has awoken a long forgotten memory. I was dozing under a tree and dreamt of that ceremony. I received something that day in my dream, in my past. Was it a dream? Or did it really happen? That's interesting. Did that not happen on this mountain? Was that a different mountain? And the spirit just basically followed him here? That's a real good question. Hmm. Alright, 
Now, what's the play? Okay, we are going a different direction from Yuri. Shigariku's journal. This journal. Did the white-haired girl leave this? I'm not like the others. My hair and eyes make me special. I was told I wouldn't live long. That I wouldn't even live to be seven years old. They all hid from me like they might catch something. Only he didn't run. When we played hide-and-seek, we hid together in our secret place. Nobody could find us there. Why did we ever leave? The first time I cried was when I had to leave that place. The ceremony is tomorrow. Let me guess, the water just suddenly drained here, right? No? Alright, moving on. <sighs> I do not like the Shrine of Dolls. Really don't. She went that away, huh? What's the goal here, game? Where are you taking me? I go the wrong way? Oh, I did. You want me in here in the big room. I can see the white face of a large doll behind the blinds. This must be the main shrine. Huh. Okay. here then oh. interesting she's not letting me get any photos of her man. I don't want to check the dolls. I want to know which way I'm going here. Uh, through here. The back of the shrine. Ah, the ghost kids are here. One ghost kid. That was weird. Kunihiko Aso walking along the path. Well, that was a short lived ghost attack. I got one shot in, and she's just like, now nah, I'm done. <laughs> that girl left this journal here again. Does she have some connection to Dr. Aso? Yes, clearly! At the ceremony on Mount Kagori, I cut off a lock of my hair as a token, and as a farewell. I fell once. I thought I was dead, but I wasn't. I survived. When I opened my eyes, he was there. I am here because of him. That's why I chose him. On Mount Kagori, girls chosen to be pillars can pick their partner. I will be placed in a box and be taken to the mountain. We will exchange vows, be bound together for eternity. Ghost marriage. Interesting. There's an item right in front of me. Hang on. I, I was half expecting Casper there. It's been a little bit since Casper's popped up. Ah, another path to the Shrine of the Ephemeral. Lovely. <sighs> Ren hasn't been here yet. What's the play? Is he gonna go into the shrine or is he gonna take the mountain? Hold on. 
item. Only one? Only one? Well, that's a little cheap. It's almost always two. Oh, okay, fine. The double O fill makes up for the trouble you handed me. We are not going in the shrine. Also walking into the forest. That's interesting. This leads to the mountaintop, doesn't it? Just my geography of this mountain is right. Forbidden Valley, oh lovely. My favorite freaking place on this mountain. Right up there with the doll shrine is the frickin' cemetery. <sighs> the waterlogged cemetery, no less. Come on. Ugh. Slow. I'm so slow. was a little close there. You leave an item. And the trace goes this way. Interesting. Wait, isn't this the way Miku went? Or not me? Yeah, Miku and Miu. Yep. Mm -hmm.